All right, let's get right into it. What we're about to talk about connects a truly massive, world-record-breaking event in Dubai with a major crisis that's brewing in the global silver market. And believe me, this is way more than just about a rising price. We could be looking at a fundamental shift in the entire financial world for precious metals. If you've been following silver at all, what is happening right now is something you absolutely need to understand. So it all starts just a few days ago in Dubai. The curtain gets pulled back, and there it is a single, gigantic bar of silver weighing 1.97 metric tons. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around that number, so think of it this way. That's almost 2,000 kilograms. It's the weight of a decent-sized car. Over 63,000 troy ounces of pure silver, all in one solid piece. And this isn't just some big, impressive bar. Nope. It is officially the largest single bar of silver ever made. It's a verified Guinness World Record holder. But you know what? The bar itself... It's just the opening act. It's the physical symbol for a much, much bigger story. A radical new way for anyone on Earth to own, trade, and verify precious metals. And this, right here, is the revolutionary part. This historic piece of silver isn't just going to be locked away in some billionaire's private vault forever. The powerful group behind this is turning this entire 1.97-ton bar into digital tokens on the blockchain. What does that mean for you? It means that very soon, anyone, anywhere in the world, can buy a tiny fraction of this record-breaking bar, fully audited and physically backed, right from their phone. We are talking about a total democratization of owning physical silver in a way that's never, ever been possible before. So you have to ask, why go through all this trouble, right? Why create a world record bar and build this whole complicated system around it? Well, the answer is found in the current state of the silver market itself. There's a massive structural problem that's been hiding in plain sight, and it makes this move from Dubai incredibly strategic and, frankly, perfectly timed. Let's dig into the numbers. You see, the root of this whole problem really starts with supply. The amount of silver being pulled out of the ground peaked way back in 2016. Ever since then, even with demand growing, the amount of new silver being mined has been going down, down, down. The ores just aren't as rich. Finding new large deposits is incredibly rare, and it's getting more expensive to get it out. The bottom line is, we're producing less new silver every single year, and that trend shows no signs of turning around. Okay, so while supply is falling, demand is doing the exact opposite. It's exploding. This chart right here really puts it all into perspective. Just last year, the entire world mines about 800 million ounces of silver. But global demand for everything from industry to investment was over 1.2 billion ounces. That is a gigantic structural gap between what we produce and what we actually use. So let's focus on this number. This is the deficit, a 400 million ounce shortfall in just one year. The world used 400 million more ounces of silver than it pulled out of the ground. And this has been happening for several years now, and the gap is only getting bigger. This shortfall has to be filled from somewhere, right? It's being filled by draining the existing stockpiles around the world. But here's the thing. Those stockpiles aren't bottomless. So what is driving this crazy demand? It's the future. It's basically every single major technological trend that is defining our world today. Solar panels consume a massive amount of silver. Every electric vehicle needs way more silver than a gas-powered car for all its electronics. The rollout of 5G networks building all these power-hungry AI data centers, and yeah, even sophisticated defense and missile systems, they all need huge and growing amounts of silver. And this right here might be the most critical piece of the entire puzzle. For most of these high-tech uses, silver isn't just the best material, it's the only material that actually works. It has unique properties like its electrical and thermal conductivity that are simply irreplaceable. You just can't build a high-efficiency solar panel or a complex missile guidance system with copper or aluminum. It doesn't work. There is no substitute. And that means industrial demand is what we call inelastic. It doesn't just disappear even if the price goes up 10 times. Now, while this epic supply and demand battle is playing out, something else is happening in the shadows. The big precious metals exchanges, you know, the COMAX in New York and the LBMA vaults in London, they've been reporting these unbelievable outflows of physical silver. Huge amounts of the metal are being taken out by large and often totally anonymous entities, what the market has started calling ghost buyers. This is draining the very stockpiles that are supposed to back the entire paper silver market. 
Okay, so let's put it all together. You've got falling supply, you have exploding non-negotiable industrial demand, and you have the emergency stockpiles being rapidly drained. So what happens when these forces finally come to a head? Well, this is the perfect storm for a physical squeeze. That's what happens when everyone who owns a paper contract for silver tries to get their physical metal all at once, only to find out there isn't enough to go around. What happens when the world finally wakes up and realizes the shelves are almost empty? Let's just run a little thought experiment. Just imagine for a second, you wake up one morning, you check the price of silver, and it's not $30 or $50, it's $200 an ounce. And not because of some wild speculation, but because major industries are desperately bidding for the last few available ounces just to keep their factories running. Then, out of curiosity, you check your favorite online bullion dealers, and they're all sold out. Every single coin, every single bar, gone. Unavailable at any price. This isn't some sci-fi fantasy. It is the logical endgame of a true physical squeeze. Now, the idea of a silver squeeze isn't exactly new. We've seen this movie before. Back in 1980, the Hunt brothers famously tried to corner the market, and they sent prices to historic highs before the regulators stepped in and changed the rules. And more recently, in 2011, there was a huge surge in investment demand that caused physical shortages and sent the price rocketing towards $50 an ounce. The difference is, the conditions we see today, driven by that unstoppable industrial demand, suggest the stage is set for something much, much bigger. And right now, we're seeing this fascinating split in the market. On one side, you have what they call the smart money. Central banks are buying gold at record rates, and we're hearing that billionaires and sovereign wealth funds are quietly very quietly, accumulating physical silver. They see how undervalued it is, and they understand that industrial demand isn't going away. And then on the other side, you have the vast majority of regular investors who are still focused on other things, chasing assets that have already had huge run-ups and are sitting near all-time highs. So we've laid out the problem, right? A severe supply deficit is crashing head-on into a technological demand explosion, all while the warehouses are being emptied. Now let's circle all the way back to where we started, with that giant bar in Dubai. Because the solution being presented there is a direct answer to this entire situation. It's a plan to give people access to real, physical silver in a world where it might soon be very, very hard to find. So let's look at the details here. The bar was unveiled on November 24th. It weighs 1,971 kilograms. At today's market prices, it's worth well over $1.8 million. But look at the players involved. The DMCC, that's Dubai's very powerful commodity authority. Som Precious Metals, the refiner. TechVest, the tech platform. And Brinks, the biggest name in security and vaulting on the planet. I mean, these are not small-time players. This is a consortium of absolute heavyweights. Let me be crystal clear about this. This is not just about making a giant piece of shiny metal to get in the news. That's the spectacle. That's the marketing. The real story, the actual innovation here, is the financial plumbing they are building on top of that physical asset. The tokenization of real, audited silver, that's the game changer. So how does this actually work? It's really a pretty simple four-step process. First, that physical bar is put into a vault and secured by Brinks. Step two, digital tokens get created on a blockchain, which is just a super transparent and secure digital ledger. Three, each one of those tokens represents direct, fractional ownership of that specific bar of silver. And finally, step four. You can buy, sell, and trade these tokens instantly, 24-7, right from an app on your phone with almost no friction. And this model has some incredible benefits compared to the old ways of owning silver. I mean, just think about it. Zero storage fees. You don't have to pay those huge premiums that dealers charge over the spot price. You get instant liquidity to buy or sell whenever you want. And most importantly, it is fully allocated and audited. Your token represents a specific chunk of silver that actually exists. That is a massive advantage over paper silver products. And the whole thing is regulated by VARA, which is Dubai's official virtual asset regulator. Now, when you zoom out and look at the big picture, you start to realize this whole project is more than just a new investment product. This is a major geopolitical move. Dubai is planting its flag in the ground. They are making a very bold statement that they plan to become the new center of gravity in the global financial system, especially when it comes to hard assets like precious metals.
If you want a good comparison to understand the potential here, think about Tether Gold. It's a token backed by physical gold, and it's become so successful that Tether is now one of the biggest non-government holders of gold in the entire world. Now imagine taking that same wildly successful model and applying it not to gold, but to silver, the one metal that has a massive and worsening industrial supply deficit. The potential is just enormous. And this, this brings us right back to the beginning, back to those mysterious ghost buyers. There's a theory that's gaining a lot of steam in market circles, that the entity or group of entities that's been behind the massive accumulation of physical silver from London and New York has been Dubai all along. And if that's true, then this world record bar and this tokenization project, well, it's not just an innovation, it's a public announcement. It's their coming out party, showing their hand to the entire world. There's a quote floating around among insiders that really just captures the whole sentiment perfectly. London had its century. This century belongs to Dubai. I mean, that is a direct challenge to London's legacy as the center of the precious metals world for more than 100 years. They're signaling that the flow of capital and physical metal in the 21st century is going to be rerouted right through the Middle East. It's an incredibly bold statement about a fundamental shift in global finance. We are literally watching a fundamental supply crisis collide with a technological innovation that could completely redefine the entire market. The real question is, is this the event that finally forces the world to recognize the true value of physical silver? Or is it just the opening move in a much larger financial chess game for control of the world's most critical metal? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more fascinating videos from Comics Visigoths. Have a great day and keep stacking.